So, hello to the Tops Collector Show <laughs> here in my new studio. So, um, it is still not completely set up. I just finished my Tops Worthy chair. I can show you. Isn't that a beauty? I rebuild myself to fit specifically my needs as a Tops Collector. So the Leo Espinosa throne. <laughs> and uh, next is I have now my own little setup of studio, I would call it. Which is still not completely 100% built up. But um, I thought about it and it was such a long time that we had the last video coming up. So... I will do and give you a quick overview of uh, a topic that I wanted to talk uh, a long time ago and that is customization options by TOPS. So most of you I guess are aware if you buy from TOPS directly you can choose customizations options as such as uh, serrations, uh, camouflage, uh, coding and Rocky Mountain Tread or uh, if you contact them for some knives not all of them you can choose between a leather sheath or a kydex sheath or something like that so that is also possible in some cases and um, even if you don't buy directly from Tops guys Tops is a company that is proud of their products and if you have like if you buy a modern gladius and you want to have it in the camouflage options or you want to rock a mountain tread or something else on it because you saw it online and it looked so badass that you wanted that too you can ship them to tops contact them first make sure it is everything is available and it is good to go so you can buy them at a different seller and ship them to tops and get some cut, uh, customization options that they offer so that is also an option you have uh, so for the serrations i picked my sabo express because the top is completely serrated like i wanted and uh that is just super badass in my opinion. And uh, one thing up front, that is all new to me. Uh, the setup is new to me, the camera angle is new to me. So if you have uh, any ideas how to improve, I'm open to any ideas. Next one I picked is the dart uh, in the camo coating. And the Rocky Mountain Trad handles, which is just super nice in my opinion. And then I have a few blades on the table that have a different story. So most of them are not customized yet, not completely. And some of them are just in a condition like my frog market special that needs love and i use my frog market special very often in the kitchen and it it, it looks used or i get it but if you want to look a uh, brand new you can do that also just hit them up um front desk woman is uh, mostly Haley, a super nice woman hi by the way and um, so if you want to get them recoded they do it it's just a small fee that you have to pay and then you have a brand new knife i would say so it's get new coated it gets sharpened and then it gets shipped out to you so i have uh the frog market special i have the raven x 
that has a little, I hope you can see that, a little spot on the tip where it's got used. It had a little bit scarring and uh, overall it's seen some better days in my opinion. And it is a collector's knife, so it is discontinued. Uh, that is why I will get it brand new. Then the Frog Market Special will get a new coating as well because it is after a few years in the kitchen now not so pretty anymore. Then next up we take the Steel Eagle as an example. That Steel Eagle saw some use and has a nice very sharp edge but the coating is scratched off in some spaces and yeah it, it will see uh, a new coating as well. Then I have a special patient that is the Overlander. <laughs> yeah I know I know. Uh, that was sitting in a drawer for years and years and years and it got at some point it's not completely rusty it is more like stained oil i would say um so yeah and the next patient is a little project myself i asked leo if i can show it and i can that is uh, baja 4.5 and I'm pretty sure the color will not show as good on the video as it is in the real life. That is just a toxic bright green. And um, that will just get the engraving that it is missing by now. Uh, I had that aftermarket um, recoded because Tops is not... Uh, not offering the green I wanted and now it is getting a new life. I redone the leather sheath with green stitching so my little green toxic devil will see a new life too. And that is specifically the uh, the reason why I did the video because I got asked fairly often about the Green Devil and uh, I just want to talk about the different customizations options you have and um, like I said even if you don't buy directly from Tops, if you uh, buy from let's say Blade HQ you still have the option to ship them to Tops, get them serrated, new coated uh, Rocky Mountain Trail on the handle, get a new sheath, uh, get a new Kydex. Uh, if, if you don't like the rotational uh, clip, you can always choose the uh, fixed clip. Uh, is it fixed? Oh, that is rotational too. And that is rotational too. I don't think I have at the moment here a uh, uh, fixed clip. And um, if you need a specific new leather sheath, you can do that too. Craig is making fantastic leather sheath. So if you want a little bit of uh, the extra sprinkles on the cake, you can ask him if he makes you a leather sheath as well. And uh, with a bit of luck, you have the good will option that he will make one. So, um, that aside, that is just a short video about the customization options. For YouTube purpose, that is iced tea. And, um, yeah, you can get them directly from Tops, you can get them. Uh, not directly uh, from Tops if you buy from a different uh, seller and then ship them to Tops. Or if you're lucky, sometimes they, you, know, you can come across a blade that is already completely customized. Uh, customiz Jesus, I can't even talk. Give me this. It is even customized. 
Ah, that's better. I see helps. And um, yeah, that is just a small video I have for you now. And uh, let me know in the comments below if that new studio is good enough, if the lighting is good enough, if you hear me good enough, if you see enough of the blades, if you want to see something else. And um, I will definitely be back and make new videos, new content. I will not be as much anymore on Instagram because of the guidelines of Instagram. So I will do more YouTube content than Instagram, but I'm still online on Instagram. If you have questions, message me. If you have any suggestions, say so. And I would say until next time, stay sharp. <laughs>